The Hurricane Center's meteorologists were shocked by the data. Sandy was now in a different league. It was on course to create a larger system with frightening destructive potential. The data collected from the P-3 aircraft showed that the wind field was so large, it expanded m more so than what we've ever seen in, in the last uh, decade or so. Normal hurricanes, they're pretty small, and their wind field is pretty small, so it doesn't impact a very large area. Tropical systems are very concentrated. The winds are very strong, but it's very concentrated. So this dilution of the storm spreads that grief over a much larger domain. Its size actually made it very devastating. Meteorologists began to realize that Sandy was destined to be among the largest hurricanes ever to form in the Atlantic Basin. Andrew, 180 miles in diameter. Katrina, even bigger. Irene, Sandy, the mother of them all. This was around about a thousand miles across, and that is huge. That's a superstorm. Hurricanes traveling off the eastern seaboard usually turn east and fade out over the North Atlantic. But with a weather front over Greenland, and a low pressure system over the U.S., Sandy took a different course. The other unusual thing about Sandy is that it didn't recurve out into the Atlantic, which is what hurricanes normally do when they get up to the latitude um, of New York or New Jersey. Sandy recurved inward. We have winds that are out of the southwest that will tend to recurve the system to the north. We have winds that are of a different direction that will tend to drive the system in that direction. Aware of Sandy's landward trajectory, authorities called for evacuation from its predicted path. They feared that Sandy would bring in a storm surge. Approaching land, a hurricane's wind drives water toward the shore, wave after wave, hammering coastline structures and flooding city streets. Those waves aren't just created locally, they've been created as the storms moved across the Atlantic. So they're moving in, so all of a sudden, we get 14, 15, 16 feet of water. A cubic yard of water weighs nearly a ton. Sandy's storm surge dumps 500 million tons of Atlantic water on New York City and the Jersey Shore. 